I call this basically just Brian Setzer, 2014, and the other one is Rockabilly 1959. That guitar tone patch I will offer you next week and and another video. So in this video we're going to focus on Brian Setzer 2014, but it's a combination of um, earlier guitar tones that I try to emulate live as opposed to the studio. He has a lot of fast slap back echo. This one, he had like a couple of performances I, I caught live on YouTube. I just love the delay. And it was it just it just sung to me total rockabilly and pure uh, Brian Setzer, as you can hear in the sound file. All right, so let's begin. I have here a clean tone patch to start off with. Go ahead and follow the parameters and the settings if you don't have all the effects I'm going to be using here. I go ahead and look at the knob positionings and get as close as you can. Uh, if you have the Boss GT100 or the Boss E-Man, you should follow this perfectly. If you don't, this will work with all your effects pedals, any effects processors, anything that you have. Go ahead and look at my uh, parameters here. You should be able to get close to it. And go ahead and tweak it and fine tune it. Again, your results will vary depending on what type of gear, guitar, pickups you have. But if you can get close to it, then you can make it your own. Alright, so let's begin. This is the Brian Setzer Live 2014 Guitar Tone Patch. We're going to start off with a clean tone patch. Alright, let's go into the amps. And we're going to go ahead and go for a natural clean. So we have a natural clean amp. Let's go ahead and pick that out. Alright, we're going to put the gain at 50 and we're going to put the effect level at 84. So I go ahead and do that. What makes this tone patch really, really good is the chorus and the chorus and the delay combined with the reverb. Um, as you can hear in the sound file, it just sounds really, really good. So all right, let's continue with the chain. We're gonna go ahead and put the bass at 50. I had a lot of requests for the Brian Setzer tone patch, but I did a lot of tweaking with it, so I, it wasn't ready to be. Uh, made available to you folks because I had to tweak it. I found other guitar tone patches of Brian Setzer that I like better than what I had originally dialed in. And so I'm always, you know, chasing tone. If I can make it better, I'll hold off until it's right before I launch it with you guys. Okay, I have the bass at 50. I got the middle at 55 and we're going to put the treble at 95. He has a lot of treble. All right, see, see the difference? We're going to get to a nice and Brian Setzer rockabilly tone. All right, so we're going to go ahead and to the next menu. If you have the Boss E-Man or GT100, possibly GT10, you may have this menu right here. Go ahead and click the Bright off and the T-Comp. Let's go ahead and put the T-Comp at number two. If you do not have the T-Comp, don't worry about it. It's not going to affect your tone. But if it's already on this, I have it at 2. Okay. The compressor for this tone patch, we have it off. See the bottom right? Let's turn the compressor off. We don't need any compressor here. So as you can see, my amp is on. We got the natural clean. We have the compressor off. Let's go ahead and go to the overdrive distortion. See, we have it off. Let's keep it off. We don't need it. So you want to have the amp on, natural clean, with those parameters I gave you. Compressor, turn it off. Turn it off. I said turn it off. 
<laughs> Alright, the you don't need any overdrive or distortion pedal, so we'll go ahead and turn those off. Noise gate, let's go to the noise gate, okay? Noise gate is on. For the noise gate on this patch, I have it at 30. You want to keep it at 40 or 30. In that range, you're okay. Let's go ahead and put that at 30. <coughs> so I'm reading off my notes here as I'm talking to you guys. All right. On the EQ, do we have any EQ? We do have EQ. So let's go into the EQ. The bottom right says it's on. So let's go ahead and adjust the EQ settings for the Brian Setzer Live Guitar Tone Patch. The low gain, we're going to keep at zero. The high gain, we're going to keep at zero. And the effect level, we're going to go ahead and put it at plus one. <coughs> You're all telling me this doesn't sound anything like Brian Setzer. No fool. Shut up and listen. <laughs> Alright, let's continue with the EQ. Alright, we got the low mid frequency. We're going to put that at 500. And we got the low mid Q. We're going to go ahead and keep that at 1. And the low mid gain. We're going to go ahead and put that at plus 4. Let's check this out. <laughs> That sounds good. Doesn't this sound good already? Okay, let's go continue. The high mid frequency, I have it at 4.00. That's fine. The high mid Q, I have it at 1. That's okay. And the high mid gain, we're going to go ahead and put that at minus 3. Almost sounds Beatles there, huh? Look. Picture George Harrison. Right there is also a guitar tone patch. Lock it in. All right, let's go ahead and we're almost done with the EQ. On the low cut, we have enough flat. And the high cut, we have enough flat. So we're done with the EQ. We're almost done here. Now this is what makes the Brian Setzer Live Guitar Tone Patch total Brian Setzer. I love it. It's great for rhythm. And it's great for lead playing. Playing fast or medium pace or even slow. Have fun with this tone patch. Okay, let's go ahead with the chorus. Let's go into the chorus, uh, the modulations. As you see the bottom right, I have the chorus off. We're going to go ahead and put it there. I'll turn it on in a second. There we go. Let's go into the chorus. All right, for the chorus, for the Brian sensor, we have it at mono. So the mode, let's go ahead and keep it at mono. I don't have any stereo. Uh, rate, I have it at 40. Depth, I have it at 50. And then the effect level for this tone patch, I have it at 20. So we're going to play this tone patch without the chorus. And let's see how it sounds with the chorus to give you a little flavor. Alright, see the bottom right? I'm going to turn it off. And this is without the chorus. Let's put the chorus on. Pretty good, huh? Not rockabilly yet. It's not rockabilly to get the delay. And there's all sorts of rockabilly delays. Um, you can look them up on YouTube. This, I, I did it on my own. So, you want to change the uh, delay, by all means go for it. This is my tone patch. I love it. I like the fact that I created it. Another Beatles chord, listen. Oh, I made that up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's go to the Brian Setzer delay. See, I have the delay off on that original clean tone patch. We're going to go into the delay, and we're going to turn the delay on. See the bottom right? Okay, for the delay, the Brian Setzer delay, I have it at 290. So, yeah, let's go down to 290. When you hear the delay, and after I put on the reverb, it'll be total Brian Setzer. Let's go ahead and put it at 290. We're almost there. We got it. So 290 milliseconds. 
For the feedback, I have it at 30. And for the high cut, I have it at 4.00. We're almost getting there. This will be total Brian Setzer after the reverb. But we're going to get there with the, with the delay. And the effect level for the delay, I have it at 86. Again, you want to hear what this tone patch sounds like in stereo? At the beginning of this video, you heard a beautiful uh, clean tone patch. Alright, this is the Brian Setzer with no delay. Well, I just spoiled that because I had it on. <laughs> All right, without the delay. All right, let's put the Brian Setzer delay on. Here we go. Check this out. You have a looper, play a rhythm track, play any type of chord progression, and when you solo over it, leave the delay alone, just let your fingers flow freely, soloing over the rhythm track, or whatever you record. That's going to sound really, really good. All right, we're almost done with this Brian Setzer tone patch. Let's go to the reverb. See, I had the reverb off. Listen. This reverb makes this tone patch come to life. This is why I call it live. So we're going to go ahead and move the reverb to room. Reverb time, I'm going to put it at 2.5. Okay, and then the high cut, we're going to go ahead and put that at 2.5. All right there, and then the effect level for the reverb, we're going to go ahead and put it at, I have, I believe I have 70 on that one. I'm trying to read my handwriting. Let me make sure it's 70 and not 20. So let me check really fast on my notes. Uh, that's a 70. That's why, I ha and this is how this tone patch comes to life. Okay, so this is now the Brian Setzer. Um, without the reverb. Now let's turn the reverb on and play the same chords. like a slow type of um, rhythm thump, but you can play fast. <laughs> 